They fight for our country only to return home and fight for a job. Well, not anymore. This morning, meet a veteran who is vowing to help his fellow heroes go from deployed to employed. Take Army veteran Jerry Flanagan. This guy's amazing. After serving in the military, he actually found a way to give back to those who put their lives on the line for the rest of us. In 2011, Jerry launched J Dog Junk Removal. It's a franchise opportunity exclusive veterans and their families. Flanagan says the military taught him ethics, punctuality, and respect. Today, we're talking to an Army veteran who built a national company that franchises exclusively to vets current troops and their families. Jerry Flanagan started J-Dog Junk Removal in 2011. He says he knows how hard it is to transition from military to civilian life. So he set this up to give vets a fighting chance at owning their own business. J-Dog junk removal and hauling. It just started up and is owned and operated by veterans. They offer junk removal services and perform them in what they call the military way with respect, integrity, and trust. Owner of the company, David Kaiser, served over 20 years in the U.S. Navy. Here's a chance for me to make a living, help employ veterans, which, by the way, have some of the highest unemployment rates, and in turn, uh, you know, help customers out. And so it felt like a win-win for everybody. I recently met a St. Augustine man who just started his J-Dog junk removal business. Uh, beginning of this year, I got to meet him recently and he talked to me about what he does for his business and also the importance of supporting his fellow veterans. Serving our country for more than two decades is a vivid memory for my care of St. Augustine. I came in the Navy in November of 1988 out of Northern Virginia, Fairfax County and I served for 22 years, four months, and 27 days. He one day saw a truck that looks similar to the one he drives now. Hard to miss, wrapped in J-Dog logos and sayings. J-Dog CEO is Jerry Flanagan. He started everything in 2011, where he was just his own uh, J-Dog guy. J-Dog CEO can now add Mike to his count of veterans he's helping because Mike is now up and running, helping people yeah. like Joe Kelly. Yeah, Very neat and clean in all the jobs he does. Joe likes that Mike is honest, but he also likes that he's a veteran. I'm a veteran myself, uh, six years Air Force. Mike being a veteran, he knows only too well how veterans have suffered in more ways. So he took it upon himself to have a uh, career that not only helps himself, but it helps veterans. And along with my brother Isaac Wines, we are the owners and operators of J-Dog Menominee Falls. I chose J-Dog because after doing research, I realized that they brought the same military values that I respected when I was in the Army. We have our values of respect, integrity, and trust that we like to live by in all that we do. The support from J-Dog since the beginning and even through now has been tremendous. Every time we call, they pick up the phone and help us guide us in the right direction. From the beginning, they helped shape and mold where we are going to spend our first couple of weeks and how we were going to launch the business. And since then, they're only a phone call away. Overall, J-Dog has been the best choice we've made to launch our new business. As it helped us be part of something bigger than ourselves, helps us hire veterans, and helps us continue to serve within our communities. With the help from J-Dog, fellow veterans, we're going to achieve that goal.